Things Human Settlements MEC Debochang Maile says people will not be evicted from their homes during the lockdown period. He gave the assurance a short while ago while outlining measures being taken by provincial government to try and combat land invasions. Maile met municipal mayors about the increasing incidence of land invasions during lockdown. Let's get more on the story. We crossed our reporter Nozintombi Mia in Johannesburg. Very good afternoon to you Nozintombi. Over to you. Well, very good afternoon to you, Nzinga. Thank you so much. Uh, you know, as you rightly said, uh, the MEC for Human Settlements here in Gauteng did address the media here at this particular press briefing. And it's so important to talk around the issues that were for and foremost. And those were the issues around the illegal land occupation. And he spoke to us to give us a bit more clarity. And he joins me now. Thank you so much, MEC, for joining me. Let's talk about the, the big issue, really, around the issue of the illegal land invasions. Your investigations led you to um, information that it was a syndicate that is working in and around Gauteng. Yeah, well, uh, for a very long time, especially in that part of Johannesburg, the southern part, there's been a lot of um, complaints from the communities and we've been opening a lot of uh, cases and uh, some of these people are not, uh, um, are not able to come forward because uh, they are being uh, threatened and intimidated by these uh, uh, syndicates and uh, they even have uh, a way of uh, selling uh, these uh, houses and giving people uh, slips and all that and that's why we have asked the police to deal with this issue so that we don't uh, compromise the the, the the work that the police is doing and uh, we hope that the police will uh, soon uh, make arrest, but uh, they also need the um, communities to um, cooperate with them. Let's talk about Loli. Let's let's focus in on Loli specifically. You were in Loli last weekend, and um, you spoke to us about how uh, there there were people who told the community that you would be briefing the community, and this is patently untrue and false. This lends itself firstly to two questions. The first question is around the issue of how this matter of the land in invasions and grabs is going to be resolved and how the social distancing issues are going to happen if people are meeting in groups and being bussed in from different uh, uh, parts of the province. The, 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 second, the second question, that's why we had asked the police to uh, disperse the crowd without using any force and uh, communicate with the, our people that it's important that they must be at home and not be in that meeting and, and that we are not going to address them, um, me and the mayor, because uh, that would be contravention of the, of the uh, uh, regulations. But also we... Um, we have looked at the issue of land invasions, as we were saying in our press conference, and we have to have a multi-pronged approach. We, know, and we have to have an intergovernmental um, approach, work with municipalities, work with national government, and we also need uh, all the different uh, components, the police, uh, uh, other law enforcement uh, agencies, we need the community, because it's quite a complex issue. If we wait until um, people occupy the land, it, 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 it complicates matters and it projects government uh, as um, being uncaring and, and, and vicious. So um, our, our, our approach is that we have to intensify our efforts to, um, to, to, to prevent this uh, before it happens. Uh, but we need to work uh, very closely with our communities um, and they shouldn't be uh, duped into believing that uh, if they occupy this land, their lives will change. In fact, it complicates it uh, even more because they end up uh, occupying spaces that are not safe. There's no water, there's no electricity, uh, there's no sanitation, and uh, um, they, they end up living in, in misery. Um, but if they work with us and um, follow the plans that we have with the municipalities of making sure that, uh, amongst others, we give people land, because the land that we'll be giving people will be safest, will have water, will have sanitation, will have electricity. And those who are able to build for themselves, they build for them, uh, uh, themselves in properly located, uh, well-serviced uh, land so that you don't have people building houses in places like Loli when they know very well that they are not supposed to be, they don't own that land, they've occupied it illegally 
and that there, there are no services. Let me see. Um, you know, because of the lockdown regulations, there's been no evictions from national. Obviously, nationals handed down that um, um, rules and regulations. But how then do we distinguish between the issue of evictions and counter land invasion? Just for clarity's sake, for people who, are, you know, on the cold face of it, seem not to understand the difference between the two. Well, if somebody has been staying in their house uh, or shack. Uh, whether for the last two months, three months, or previous years, um, once you go in and demolish their shake or remove them, you are evicting them. These people have been there. Uh, but if somebody wakes up tomorrow morning or today and decides to p- build a shack in an uh, unoccupied uh, or, or empty space of land, uh, that person is invading as we speak now. So we can't wait for lockdown. We must stop that person from invading. And that's why we're saying, firstly, our people must uh, give us information. As the, and in, in fact, by the way, in uh, a lot of areas, it has been uh, our people, including leaders of other political parties, alerting us that there's a potential invasion. Then we're able to send uh, the the police but we're also saying when people start building we are going to stop them we're going to confiscate their material if the house is not yet finished and you're still busy when you're not supposed to be doing during this period so people shouldn't invade land at all whether during this period or post this period but at this point no one will be evicted no one will be evicted and that's the message we are sending and if it happened that by uh, a mistake as a result of somebody's mischief uh, somebody finds themselves especially in lowly uh, people have uh, have have been affected yes the mayor of Johannesburg has already asked the city through the department of social development to look at that issue find those people verify that and we will definitely make sure that those people uh, find accommodation. Right. So, MEC, you're just giving clarity that those people who are affected in either evictions or in uh, the, the removal by the task force, people will be given alternative accommodation. This is what you say. Those who, who might have been evicted uh, through someone's mischief. Uh, but if you try to invade land, there is no alternative for you. They can only be alternative for those who are evicted. And there will not be any eviction. Anybody who instructs or executes uh, eviction of our people is in contravention with the law. In fact, we will open a criminal case against that person. doesn't matter whether it's a, it's a, it's a municipality or whoever. They will be contravening the law. And obviously you're referring this to the issue of the red ants. Red Ants acts on behalf of somebody else. So what we are saying, without going into the details, anybody, that's why I was saying, who instructs or who executes, we will have to, to ensure that the law takes its course. Right. Thank you so much, MEC, for human settlements here in Gauteng, just giving us a greater detail around the issues of illegal land invasion and what rules and regulations uh, will be accepted and punitive measures against those people who break those rules and regulations. Nzinga. Nzindombi Mia coming to us live from Johannesburg.